We have waited nearly 20 years to see what would finally happen with Kuroko in the latest volume of A Certain Magical Index. The preview of this volume, Genesis Testament 7, has just dropped, so this is literally breaking news. Of course, I'm going to talk about spoilers from the latest volume of Index, so you have been warned. First, let's talk about an earlier volume for some context, specifically Genesis Testament 4. The Misaka clones or sisters were kept secret from the rest of the world, and they were only allowed to either live in Academy City or the several institutions institutions aligned with the city across the world after the collapse of the Sisters Project. But during the trial of Accelerator, the existence of nearly 10,000 clones of Misaka Makoto were revealed to the world on international TV. And no, Accelerator isn't going to jail for hanging around Last Order too much. He pretty much had it himself in due to all the crimes he committed as his way to atone for his sins, mainly the mass murder of the clones and to not jeopardize the reputation of Academy City further in the current world order as Accelerator is also the current leader and board chairman of Academy City, so it would look pretty bad if someone like him was in charge of the city without any repercussions. Anyway, onto the point of this video. Accelerator basically assigned the clones to live new lives in various sectors, such as education, public service, finance, labor, and research, meaning the clones are completely out in the open, working different jobs. Misaka and Kuroko decide to visit a skyscraper in District 12, where New Year's shrine is situated to celebrate the occasion of New Year's Day, where finally, Kuroko meets a bunch of Misaka clones. Now, Kuroko did likely send a text to Misaka when the clones were revealed, but this is our chance to finally see her full reaction. Why is this important? Because Kuroko is completely obsessed over Misaka, and fans have always wondered, what the hell would happen if she finally met the clones? Well, today we have our answer, and it might just surprise you. The sisters were already getting off track all on their own. Meanwhile, Shirai Kuroko was trembling. What? So, so many one summers? Am I having my first dream of the year? The passers-by all reacted in their own ways. Some curiously aimed their phone cameras at the clones that had been recently revealed to exist. Others walked right past the identical girls to line up for the offering box. They reacted about how they might for an unusual new design for a security robot. But they aren't just the same as the real one. They lack that intangible divinity. They don't have the aura of a goddess. Shirai Kuroko still came to cling to Makoto, so Makoto intercepted her with a fist and pondered what was happening. I'm honestly quite surprised Kuroko's reaction was very contained and she didn't go berserk, which would likely result in her going to jail with Accelerator. While Kuroko is known to be perverted towards Misaka, it seems like she truly does love her, as I guess Kuroko is infatuated with not just her looks, but also her personality, since the personalities of the clones are very different to the original. Kuroko doesn't seem all that interested in them. I honestly quite like this, rather than what probably many thought would be the expected outcome, as it shows that Kuroko values Misaka on a deeper level, rather than just going crazy over the clones just because they share the appearance of her Onesan. And plus, I think everyone agrees Kuroko is definitely a much more enjoyable and better written character when she isn't in her deranged psycho mode. What do you think of Kuroko's reaction? Let me know in the comments and subscribe if you haven't already for more Index and Railgun news just like this.